So, thermal lag, uh, Sterling engine fabrication. Uh, in the past, when I was trying to uh, uh, fabricate a Sterling engine, the big problem was always, uh, you know, getting the clearance between the piston and the cylinder walls uh, as tight as possible. So, we think we might have found a uh, possible solution to uh, make the fabrication easier. We're going to take uh, a stock cylinder and piston. Uh, as illustrated in the example video and uh, we will uh, apply uh, what is it anti-seize we'll take the rings off the pistons and uh, you know put a liberal amount of uh, anti-seize in the piston grooves and uh, this just has WD-40 on it right now and with uh, you know that minimal lubricant amount of lubricant uh, there appears to be uh, you know suction or uh, yeah, compression I guess uh, so we should be able to uh, achieve some sort of compression or sealed system using this technique uh, it'll be a couple weeks before we can start testing have to fabricate the, uh, the frame and crankshaft and uh, we'll try to do a, uh, a two-cylinder push-pull configuration and uh, hope everybody gets a chance to check out the uh, Example video from uh, another fabricator. Uh, it's very impressive. He's using a uh, a Volkswagen uh, cylinder and piston in a uh, you know two cylinder configuration, and uh, it's a thermal lag uh, Sterling engine. And uh, we'll try to duplicate uh, his results with uh, the materials that I have. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the day. Please check out the uh, example video. And uh, we'll try uh, going through, uh, what is it, a step-down transmission to the uh, manual PMA and uh, cap dump uh, pulse width modulator circuit and uh, see what kind of results we get. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the day. Oh, the clearance on this without the rings is, uh, I don't know, probably a couple, couple thousandths. So that's a lot tighter than <laughs> I could actually fabricate. Uh, so we'll, uh, you know, we'll see. We should be able to get some sort of results. If the uh, thermal lag uh, design doesn't work out, then we'll uh, go to a conventional uh, Sterling engine configuration, probably a gamma or a beta, uh, using this material. So, uh, hope to have better luck uh, with this fabrication. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the day. Cheers.